You're watching KPBI News at 10, news that works for you. Well, those thunderstorms have since moved on. Now it's leaving behind just a few clouds. In fact, let's take a look at your right now temperatures, 65 degrees with still some light winds about 15 miles per hour. Now this is the temperature out at the airport right now. In town, it's about seven degrees warmer. So we're looking at about 72 degrees. Same for Idaho Falls, 65 degrees and 21 mile per hour winds. Of course, we had some uh, very uh, interesting thunderstorm cloud formations roll through Idaho Falls tonight. We'll take a look at that a little bit later in the newscast. So here's what's happening with your storm tracker radar. That system that made its way through dropped a teeny little bit of rain just to trace them out in through the lower valley a little bit more and through the upper valley. That's moved on. That's moved into the Teton Valley area. You can see Driggs, Alpine, Jackson getting hit with some light rain showers right now. Those thunderstorms that moved through the central mountains have since moved on. Little bit of rain activity, some shower activity into parts of Haley and the mountains mountains around Sun Valley. As we zoom out just a little bit, you can see that system, how it's moved on into Wyoming now, leaving behind it pretty clear conditions. So those clouds will be moving along with that system. That's going to clear up overnight, but yep, we're not done with those clouds just yet. So your forecast for tonight, clear skies, that's going to drop us down into the mid 50s. So a little bit cooler tonight than what we had last night. 55, the overnight low for Pocatello and Blackfoot, 56 American Falls, low 50s for Idaho Falls and St. Anthony. And then tonight, in through the highlands and western Wyoming. Once the system moves through, once the rain gets done, we're going to have some clearing conditions overnight tonight. And that's going to last probably until about uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll see some more clouds build up once again. Overnight lows for Jackson, 47, 42 for Yellowstone Island Park, right at that half century mark. And in through the central mountains, again, clear skies. The system has moved on. Overnight, we'll experience some cooler temperatures because we don't have that cloud cover that's kind of trapping the heat in. Over Overnight lows 57 for Salmon, 44 for Stanley, Chalice 54, Mackey at 54 for that overnight low. Now for tomorrow, we're going to have a sunny morning, but that's going to give way to clouds coming in later in the afternoon. Getting into the highs in the 90s for Salmon, so a little toasty there. Stanley at 80, 84 for Chalice, Arco hitting 88 degrees tomorrow. And in through the highlands in western Wyoming, we'll have mostly sunny skies. Once again, experiencing that cloud buildup later in the day. Island Park hitting a high of 83 tomorrow. Driggs 84, Jackson 83, Afton at 83 degrees as well. In through the valley, sunny conditions in the morning and then clouding up later in the afternoon. But look at that. We're going to be nice and toasty. 94 for the high in Pocatello, 90 Idaho Falls, uh, much of the other, uh, much of the rest of the region in through the low 90s. Now let's take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast. Yep, it's going to be a hot one all weekend long with cloudy conditions, highs in the middle 90s by Saturday. Experience a little bit cooler. When I say cooler, I still say a hot kind of cool because it's going to be 93 beginning of next week, 94 as we get into uh, middle of next week and probably the 80s and we'll hover around the 80s for the next couple of weeks. Idaho Falls also with the hot conditions, cloudy skies tomorrow, 91 the high, 93 on Saturday, 94 on Sunday and in through Rexburg. Yeah, we're getting hot there too. 91 tomorrow, staying in the 90s for the weekend. Chance of some thunderstorms coming in late Monday, and that's going to drop us down by about a degree or two. <laughs> Not too bad. And then in through the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, Driggs, look for cloudy conditions. The best chance of thunderstorms are coming up Sunday evening, Monday evening, and Wednesday evening, and that'll uh, keep our daytime highs into the 80s. And then for Sam and Chalice and Mackey, look for a nice weekend with sunshine, highs in the 90s, but then also a chance of those mountain thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.